Hi Boris, this is just to go through how to connect up the, um, the power supply to the IO shield. Okay, so you can see the shield here and this is just the reverse of the shield. Now you have got, it looks like on your board, you've got the two central um, male headers for uh, ground and five volts connected. Okay, so the VIN that you keep asking about would be the one at the end here. Okay, uh, now I'm guessing that uh, you've got an auto DIY plus because you said that you had the um, Bluetooth module in. Um, so you get probably a battery pack, something like this inside it. Okay, now don't panic that four lots of one and a half volt batteries will take you over the five volts. Um, this this five volt pin is really quite tolerant. Um, and actually I'm running, I'm gonna be running the board off uh, the six volts because these batteries are run really quite new. So again, just pop pop this into the five volts. So connect up your, your plus, your positive, uh, connect up your ground, and you'll see that the board fires up. Okay, so uh, that's all you need to do. Now, if you are interested in, in the, the V-in, the V-in runs between six volts and 12 volts, or that would be the power supply connected there. So if I just pop, unpop that and then pop it in there, because this is actually over six volts, uh, you can see it's powering up the board. Um, I did start off powering up the board with four batteries um, in the V-in, but I found when it when it got below, a little bit below six volts then, and certainly when the, uh, the board was under load with servos and so forth, uh, it would just shut down. So I moved the, the, the positive back to the pin that you've got soldered to your board and everything carried on running for quite a long time um, because the, the, there was plenty enough uh, voltage over five volts to run the board and the servos. Okay, now if you've got um, perhaps a different battery set up, so these, these batteries here, okay, they, 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 they claim that they're 3.7 volts. <clears throat> I've just charged them and tested it and it's actually 8.4 volts. So I wouldn't be connecting to the pin that you've got soldered to your board. Okay, I would be connecting this one up to the V-in and you'll see here now that this is powering up the board nicely. Okay, so this would be a, an instance where you're using perhaps a higher powered batteries. So, you know, here I've got a combined 8.4 volts. So I don't want to be pumping it through uh, that little pin, even though it's quite tolerant, you know, up to about six. I, I wouldn't want to go any higher than that. So anything bigger than that, you know, six and above, I will put through the V in. Uh, otherwise, I just use the two pins that <laughs> you have soldered to your IO shield.